think we're live. We live. <laughs> Let me check on my phone here. Yeah. Hey, looks good. We're live, folks. It's Avram Gonzalez here, and I can't even remember the last time I got on Facebook and did a live stream like this. I've actually been kind of laying low. I uh, want to share with you a little bit more about that here as you jump on live. Um, but really, the big topic of today is the 30-day mindset detox challenge. I want to talk about that. I want to talk about the 10 rules for this challenge that can change your life. And you know, you're going to take it's going to take some bravery for those of you who want to actually jump in and participate in this challenge. Um, as we go through here, let me know in the comments below if you're in. I want to tell you a little story first about the 30 day mindset detox challenge, why I'm doing it and why I think that you should consider doing it as well. Uh, as we all know, this year has been an interesting year, and it's a year that has all of us tuning in to all the different media, all the social media, everything that's going on in the world right now, and it's hard to even find our own thoughts. And so I discovered in 2010, by the blessing of a friend of mine at the time, Tim Atkinson, the 30-day mindset detox challenge. Now. I thought about this challenge recently when I started thinking, how much information can we actually handle as human beings on a daily basis, right? We're bombarded by all kinds of stuff, whether we're just out at the grocery store and going and running errands, or we're on our smartphones looking through Facebook, or you know we're watching TV, Hulu, whatever it is. Uh, we're getting constantly bombarded by messaging, ads, and all kinds of other stuff. The human mind and the human body, I don't think was designed to receive so much information on a daily basis. And if there's one thing that I know for sure is that the more that we are immersed in the media and in uh, the messaging and the points of view of other people, it's very easy to forget or even acknowledge who we truly are. Okay. The purpose of the 30 day mindset detox challenge is to strip down and get rid of everything that might be influencing our thoughts, feelings, and emotions to find and discover who we truly are. Now it's a scary prospect. I think for some people, um, I know it's got me a little bit nervous to even embark upon doing it. Part of the reason I'm doing the live stream and inviting others to join me is because I know if I put it out there, I can hold myself accountable to finishing, right? Now, 2010, I was first exposed to the Mindset Detox Challenge, and what I got out of that experience was truly life-changing. And I don't mean that in sort of like the hype train sort of way. I mean that in truly that I was impacted by that experience, and it's an experience that I want to share with you. So whether you take me up on it or not, whether you want to follow all 10 of these rules for the next 30 days as we cruise into the new year in 2021, I want you to just stop, consider, and ponder for a moment what it would be like to not have so much anxiety about the world and the way things are going right now. What it would be like to have more certainty about your life and its direction and what you're up to. Have more inspiration to chase your dreams and go after what it is that you truly desire. Heck, discover what it is that you actually want. And I think that the best way to do that is by deliberately and intentionally quieting the mind, eliminating some of the clutter, and getting closer and closer to who you truly are. What's up, Danny? Hey, thanks for joining me, bud. So I want to talk about the 30 day mindset detox challenge. I might even come back and edit this video later and show you what I did for step number 10 of the challenge. The thing that's, that's most people have a very difficult time doing and have the most tremendous insight when they complete it. Everything builds towards number 10 and I'm going to share with you those things right now. I'm going to share with you some of the things and reasoning behind some of these different rules that I'm going to be following for the next 30 days. Maybe you will too, right? So I had to update this 
quite a bit from 2010, mostly because when the Mindset Detox Challenge was created in 2010 by Tim Atkinson, there was a lot less social media back then. Um, there was, you know, the, the age of Netflix and Hulu had not yet come to be. And so I've, I've adapted some principles, I've updated some others, and I'll tell you what, some of these are gonna have you shaken in your boots. But guess what? It wouldn't be a challenge if it wasn't a challenge, okay? And as I said in the description here, number seven is probably the one thing that's going to leave me crippled at my knees wondering what to do next. See, when you create as much space in your life as you're going to create when you go through the Mindset Detox Challenge, it's going to open the floodgates for everything else to come in, okay? That's a, that's a universal secret, okay? When you make space for things, whether it's here or whether it's in your garage, you literally make space for things, right? You ever um, transition a friendship and, and, and maybe, maybe lose a friend or um, maybe a business partner or colleague or something like that? You notice how it doesn't take very long for somebody else to show up, right? We're going to clear the mental clutter, make the space for something new, and march in to a prosperous 2021. So let's get into it, okay? Number one, the first rule of the 30-day Mindset Detox Challenge. And by the way, tomorrow is December 2nd. I'm going in. You won't hear from me until January 1st because one of the big things has to do with social media. We'll talk about that here in a bit. So let's get into it. First step. This is an easy one. You can do it in the morning. You can do it in the evening. 10, count my fingers, <laughs> 10 minutes a day self-reflection. So for some of you that might be doing some meditation, and for some of you that might be journaling or actually doing some real self-reflection at the end of the day, that one's easy for most people, okay? But it might be hard to get the habit. But that self-reflection will allow you to see what is really changing in your life over the next 30 days. Monitor how you're feeling, right? Because at first you might feel a bit more anxious with all the new space, not knowing what to do with it. Your self-reflection will help keep you grounded throughout this process. Second thing, right? Second thing, okay? And these might seem simple, but they all stack, right? They all stack to create an incredible outcome. Second thing, 30 minutes a day, exercise and movement. So get out, get off your butt, go for a walk, right? We can all, well, most of us, right? Gratefully can go for a walk, get outside the house, um, get some fresh air, right? We've all been cooped up for several months um, here with the state of things, right? 30 minutes of exercise. Nobody can stop you from getting outside and getting some movement. That alone can create space, not only in your body, but in your mind. Third thing, let's get into it. And this one's a big one, especially around the holidays. Associate with empowering people, right? I say this is a hard one because sometimes... Uh, folks have, have, you know, shared with me that, that their family, right. And some of their friends are not always the most positive and uplifting people, right. And especially given today's times and what we're going through, um, those family events might be difficult, right. I feel very grateful and blessed that it's going to be easy for me during the holiday season to connect with friends and family, because I already surround myself with inspiring and empowering people, but if you find yourself in situations where the conversations may be a little negative, maybe uh, when you leave these conversations with people, you feel a little bit down, right? Think about when you hang out with somebody, how do you feel afterwards? Do you feel like you're filled up or do you feel depleted, right? Start making conscious choices now about who you spend time with, right? And, and we could probably do a whole entire live stream just on this part alone about surrounding yourself with inspiring and empowering people because it because it applies to a lot more than just meeting up with friends and family okay it can apply to social media it can apply to networking all sorts of different stuff right so third one associate with empowering people right and if you're just jumping on live right now we're talking about the 30-day mindset detox challenge we're going through the 10 rules for the next 30 days let me know in the comments below if you're here if you're in if you got questions let me know let's keep going the fourth one, the fourth rule, 
okay, and I'm giving you some flexibility here, okay, is to read or listen to personal development 30 minutes a day, right? So pick up that Tony Robbins audio that's just been sitting there collecting dust, okay? Or like pick up a copy of Jack Canfield's The Success Principles. You could probably jam on this one for the entire month of December and still not finish it, okay? Most of the time we start our day, we wake up and we're just constantly inundated and bombarded with all this information. You check your email, like you get on Facebook or Instagram and you're just constantly getting bombarded by stuff. One of the best things that you can do is start with an influential like source of information, like one of these books over here, and start drilling into your mind positivity, inspiration, and education that will lift you up rather than drag you down and slow you down. Okay, this one, admittedly for me, is something that I've gotten away from. I used to read religiously. <laughs> Um, you know, four or five years ago, I would, I would cruise through 40 to 50 books a year. And that alone elevated my mindset, my consciousness. And every day I started to notice that I, that I wasn't reading on a consistent basis, I would wonder why I wasn't in as good of a mood as the day before. This stuff has a profound effect on us. Like when you go through the mindset detox challenge, you will realize how influenced we are by other sources. That is the gift that I'm giving to you in this challenge. The fifth thing, okay, the fifth thing, and I'm gonna take this one to the next level. The fifth thing is to limit smartphone usage, right? Um, specifically, disabling all of your smartphone notifications, okay? So what that means for me is I'm gonna uninstall all my social media apps, Messenger, stuff like that. The only thing I'm going to have left is calendar reminders and uh, you know notifications when I get like a text message, okay? But all the notifications that I have that are going on on my phone that are making me pick it up hundreds of times a day at times is a distraction. And it's something that's constantly taking me away from the present moment, and I bet it is for you too. You know, not only that, but how many times have you picked up the phone when there wasn't a notification just because it was purely out of habit? Friends, that is a scary prospect, okay? And that is why I put number five in here, okay? And you can take it at this whatever level you wanna take it at, but that's why I put number five on here, okay? Disable all your smartphone notifications, and if you wanna take it to the next level, just shut it down, right? Just shut it down. We don't need all of these things hogging up our mental space, okay? So 30 days with no notifications is going to be life-changing. What's up, Natasha? Good to see you, friend. This is like right up your alley, 100%. Number six, okay? I think this one's pretty easy for folks, okay? only listen to positive and uplifting music okay so whatever you're listening to only positive only uplifting okay again this is one of those things where like we are so conditioned to think that this stuff has no impact on us but when we hear it over and over and over and over again it makes its way in right which is why when you talk to people about the best way to learn a language it's through immersion right it's through like getting into it and getting involved in it and, and having it pour over you every minute of every day to learn, okay, that language. The opposite effect is what is happening when we just let other things in all the time, including music, okay? So only positive, uplifting, and inspiring music for the next 30 days. Uh, I'm gonna be jamming on some Christmas tunes because that always keeps it pretty positive. Okay, and you can do the same thing too, right? So cut out all the crap with the bad lyrics. Okay, you know what it is. You know what it is. So tune it out. Radio, that's a good one to cut too, okay? Hey, Karen, what's going on? So number six, oh, we just did number six. Number seven, this one. Oh, this one. This one I think is going to be hard, okay? This one's gonna be difficult, I know for me especially with the state of things right now. And, you know, I live in New Mexico and we're one of the most locked down states in the country. And so the things that we used to do to get together in the evenings, 
are gone. They're just straight up gone. And so what has filled this space? I'll be honest, it's a lot of television. It's, a, it's an obscene amount of television. More television than I am even comfortable just thinking about, okay? And so number seven is all about no TV, no streaming, no social media for 30 days. <sighs> tough, right? This is going to be tough for some of us, right? <laughs> but I got a plan, okay? The plan is I'm going to fill it with board games. I'm going to fill it with books. Uh, Rachel and I, we just finished um, an awesome sci-fi book called Dune. It was my second time through it. I love sci-fi. So what have we been doing in the evenings? We've just been sitting, chilling, listening to a book, and coloring. Just coloring, right? That's how we're going to fill the time, okay? If you have a plan in place, it's going to be easy. But if you go into this thing without knowing, it's going to be tough. <laughs> Thanks, Natasha. I miss you. So that's number seven, right? So this includes YouTube. This includes Hulu. This includes Netflix. No streaming, no TV, no social media, right? Um, for me, uh, the social media part's going to be tough too because I rely on certain groups here on Facebook um, for my business. And so I will still have to be, uh, you know, logging in from time to time. But what I'm going to do is limit it to just my desktop and take it all the way off my phone because that's the place where it's getting all the screen time, right? Um, and that's what's got to go. We got three more, right? We got three more. And uh, the next one, next one, this one's going to be easy for certain people, real tough for others. Number eight, no news. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no news, no news. Can you imagine that, right? And part of my reasoning for including social media in this detox is because it's like, I can't get away from the fucking news. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sure, like you, there are times when it's like, I have hit my capacity for what I can even hear anymore that's coming from the news. And you know what? At the end of the day, not much of it is actually relevant, okay? You can fight me on this if you want, but what I'm telling you is the whole point of this exercise is to let it go for 30, uh, 30 days, right? Natasha says, I've been doing that for years. Yeah, right? Some of the happiest people I know haven't watched the news in decades. That's called a clue. We won't talk about it more because otherwise, you know, people are going to start getting offended. No news. I bet you can't do it. I bet you can't do it. <laughs> but I know that some of you will. Okay. Number nine. This is pretty easy. No alcohol, no drugs, no substances. Keep it clean, folks. I don't think I need to give an explanation about why that's going to help you have a mental detox over the next 30 days. We use substances and alcohol to take up space. We do a lot of stuff out of habit because we're uncomfortable with the space. You remove these things, you're gonna start to find out all your crazy stuff is going to come out. That's why this is a challenge, okay? Because it's going to be tough and it's going to be different and it's going to be uncomfortable at times. Last one, number 10, this is the big one. Okay, this is the big one. Plan for this one. Pick the day you want to do this now. Okay, pick the day you want to do this now because if you don't plan for it, you're going to have to do it on a day that maybe doesn't work for you. And this is the one that had one of the biggest impacts on me. It was the spending a day in silence, total silence. Okay. I'll post a video up later about that experience, what it was like for me, but in a nutshell, it helped me realize just how much I was trying to fill the space with words. Whether that was out of uncomfortability, out of habit, out of not wanting other people to be uncomfortable. Spending a day in silence, you realize just how unnecessary a lot of what we talk about really is. 
You ever find yourself just like talking about negative or toxic things because you've simply run out of positive things to talk about? You start talking about the gossip, you start talking about the negative things you've been hearing in the news, right? Spending a day in silence, you realize how unnecessary it really is to use words to connect with other people. You realize just how powerful presence can be and what it's really like to be you with your own thoughts. Sometimes we think out loud, okay? And when you stop thinking out loud and you're forced to just be with your thoughts, you start to figure out just how many of them you've been having that aren't even yours. I'm not gonna blow the secret and the secrets that you'll derive from this challenge because it's in the experience and in that daily self-reflection that you will find and discover and come to each of them. That's for you. It's not for me to tell you what they are. It's for me to invite you into a new possibility into a real challenge, something that has real potential to change everything. Because it's time to choose something different, isn't it? I think so too. And it's been a long time since I've done something like this. I imagine it's been a long time since you've done something like this or maybe never done something quite like this and tell you what i've been thinking about it now for about two weeks and nervous as hell <laughs> about jumping into this thing tomorrow so what i'm going to do now is uh post here on my my facebook wall a graphic that's got all of our 10 rules here i invite you to participate and do the same i'm not planning on, you know, doing anything more with this than just living it, doing it, and maybe sharing what it was like after it was done or not. I mean, the challenge is really for you, right? And I'm excited to see just what might come from it and embark on this adventure of creating space and finding out who I truly am. Right? I always think about this quote and I never get it right. The sculptor Michelangelo was once asked how he endeavored to create the statue of David, this legendary piece of artwork uh, that we've all come to know. And his response was a little cheeky, uh, but also very true. And he said, well, I just started chipping away at everything that wasn't David. And that's exactly what we're going to do for the next 30 days to discover who you truly are. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys in the new year on the other side. I wish you the best. I wish you well. And I want to know, are you in? Do you want to do some of it? Do you want to do all of it? I'd like to know. I'll be cheering you on from a distance, keeping you in my thoughts, and I can't wait to connect with you in the new year. Bye for now.